the two strand blood knot or the two strand decorative overhand knot. Um, I, in a previous video I showed you how to do the single strand blood knots and what I'm going to do today is really quick, very simple, only take a couple of minutes to watch but as you can see here I've made myself a little lanyard here where I've got a double overhand blood knot or double overhand knot, just a nice decorative knot and then it goes down to two single blood knots there and it just makes a nice decorative end to a lanyard. If I bring that in a little closer it's almost symmetrical, I wouldn't say it's the most symmetrical knot in the world because as you can see as I turn it over we have parallel lines here but then when I bring it to the front they actually cross over here like so and if I show you just on the paracord there's the, whoop, out of shot, there's the paracord version and as you can see as I turn it over but it is still a nice decorative little knot and it really is very very simple very very easy to tie and if you're a beginner it's so simple and easy it'll get you started in the world of knotting. I personally prefer this knot tied in a natural cordage just because the lay of the rope just gives it an interesting um, aspect to it whereas in, it looks nice in paracord as well don't get me wrong but I just do prefer this one in a natural cordage. So anyway I'm going to untie one of these and then we'll get back and let's get knotting and I'll see you on the other side. So I've got my paracord laid out here. There is my the two ends of my strands. I'm going to use about mm, six to eight inches of the actual cordage itself. And there's a cut. You can either tie it on the table or you can use your finger to tie it. And what you do is you hold it in your hand like that and then take the two cords so the Basically your cordage is going at about 45 degrees across the top of my hand to the right hand side. I then take the two cords and you've got to be careful that when you do this don't let the cords cross over as you're tying it. And then I just bring it around my finger and then allow it to cross over at that point there. Once it's crossed over I then take it around the back for a second time and there we have it. That is it. <laughs> That's almost it. The next thing we do is we just slide it off our finger like so but don't, please don't let it cross over and then I pass those two ends down through that gap that I've left from my finger coming out and just go around and check it and make sure that they're not crossed over and then gently pull them up, pull them up, keep pulling, keep pulling and eventually you'll see them all falling into place in the right area and as you can see there I've got a nice row at the back and then at the front here crossing over slightly so we would just want to adjust it a little bit, bring it in, pull it up There we go, that's starting to come in now, just gently tease up on it and you can see now what we're looking for here is we want across the top here two going diagonal across there so as you can see and I just want to pull this up a little bit tight, needs tightening up, you gently need to sort of fidget it into place, make sure nothing's crossing and then gradually work it so that it's nice and neat on the back and on the front and you can see now there it's starting to neaten up and then I've got a nice crossing point over there. Now the, for doing the single blood knot there is a video just on the single blood knot it's exactly the same procedure as we did with the double except we just use a single strand and so when you use a single strand you end up with a couple of blood knots on the bottom of your lanyard like so and then you get a larger one at the top end and it's just a really quick simple way of putting a decorative end onto a knife lanyard or something like that. So anyway once again thank you very much for watching and I'll see you again next time and don't forget give me a thumbs up if you liked it and if you hated it whoa give me one of them okay anyway 
and leave me a comment. I do talk to people online, so leave me a comment and let's have a chat about things. See you again next time. Bye-bye.